Hi, welcome to business time. I am Melisha. Remember now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, remember to like and share. Today, we will be talking about production forecasting. Now, what is production forecasting or what is forecasting? It is the ability of a business to estimate future demand for its product as accurately as possible. The business will be able to know how much resources are needed to meet consumer demand such as labor, machinery, and raw material when it is able to make accurate forecasts. Now, there are some forecasting techniques that businesses often use. Let's look at them. The Salesforce Composite. This is where production managers project future demand for a product based on what the salespersons or the sales agents or the sales team believe they will be able to sell in their area or region. So, the sales force is able to give their opinion based on their experience. Then all information from them will be collated to give an overall business sales forecast. The next technique is the Delphi method. This is where experts, specifically industry advisors, are engaged by the business to help it to project future demands. This they do based on their skill and knowledge. They are the experts after all. There can be several rounds of consultation with these experts until a consensus is reached, which is a reflection of the most likely accurate forecasts. The next technique is the consumer surveys. This is when information is collected directly from consumers, of course, through market research, to get their opinion on likely future demand and reasons behind their future demand choices. The next technique is jury of experts. This is when executives or senior managers from the various functional areas of a business meet and develop forecasts based on their knowledge of their specific areas of responsibility. The final one that we'll be looking at is the moving average. This is used to identify the overall trend in sales based on the average of a set number of periods. The period can be a year, month, or a quarter. This will help to make predictions for future sales. Well, that is it for forecasting and the various techniques that are often used. Hope you learned something. See you next time.